it's your Hoosier Mammal, and today we're going to make what is commonly known as Holy Smoke Cake, although this is not a cake at all. And I've seen it listed as Holy Smoke Pie, but it's not a pie either. I just would think of it as just a nice dessert. And we're just going to take like a, a crust of sorts on the bottom. Um, it's not a sweet crust at all. Uh, but with all the sweetness and the rest of the dessert, it's just fine. Uh, then there's layers with using some cream cheese, powdered sugar, Cool Whip, and vanilla pudding. Um, I do believe the original recipe that everybody refers to called for butter pecan pudding. Um, I've never bought that before and some people said they didn't even know if they still make that or whatever. But uh, Regardless, the vanilla is great. I made this recently for the Papaw for our anniversary and he really liked it and he's the one that suggested that I make it for a Bible study and which I will, I'm taking it tomorrow and um, he said I should make a video making it. So that's what we're doing. And one of the nice things about this is this is a very cold dessert. So this is our, this is a really hot week this week here. In Indiana so uh, it's going to be nice to have something cold rather than something warm at Bible study tomorrow so anyway let me take you over here and let's get started okay what's really nice about this recipe is it's basically a one bowl and one pan recipe um, I have already preheated my oven to 375 and I have sprayed my pan with cooking spray. So we have one and a half sticks of melted butter. And this is because the original recipe calls for one stick. And um, I put it in a smaller pan. So I, rather than doubling it, because I don't think the crust needs to be that thick, I'm going to go one and a half times. So to this butter, I'm going to add basically one and a half cups of flour. I'm going to do one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Now if you had self-rising flour, you could just use that. Which I thought I did, but I did not have any. about a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And a teaspoon of salt. So we're just going to mix this together. And then we're going to press it into the bottom of our pan. What are you making now? I'm making that dessert. Oh, you're making it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to press this into the bottom of this pan. I'm looking at it now wondering if maybe I should have actually doubled it. Uh, I really don't think so because it was really thick in that other pan with just uh, an original amount for the recipe. And I thought, well, if I can just make it a little bit more, it'll work. <laughs> so we'll, we'll hope that it does. And, uh, and it, you do have to push it out kind of thin. I mean, you would think that this would be um, not enough, but trust me, it, it so is. Um, okay, so we've also pressed some chopped cons on this as well. And I'm going to put this in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes and uh, then we'll start on everything else. Okay, so we've just taken this out of the oven and I'm gonna set it aside here to cool while I'm mixing up the first layer. Some people recommend, I'm gonna move you over here a little better. Some people recommend that um, you let that cool a lot before you start, but 
we didn't wait and most people that I have seen make this recipe they don't wait either so anyway I've got two uh, eight ounce uh, blocks of cream cheese two cups of powdered sugar and two cups of Cool Whip and we're going to try to mix this up because my cream cheese is not softened as much as it probably should be Okay, you can see this is pretty thick. It actually kind of reminds me of uh, like if you were making homemade marshmallows. That's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to pour this over. Let me get you over here where you can see. I'm going to put this over the crust. And we're not going to worry about what might be left in this bowl. It'll just get mixed up with the next layer and it won't matter. If a little bit of this is in the next layer, <laughs> no one will care. Mostly because they really won't even notice it. Okay. This pan is still a little warm. which I think actually makes this a little bit easier to spread. Oops, it kind of came up a little bit there. All right, that's all right too. It'll all taste good. When this is done, all the layers will probably come pretty darn close to the top of this pan. Okay, so that is our first layer. Now we're going to mix up the pudding. Let me move you back where, where, where you can see. And it is just two small boxes of vanilla, which I, I don't, I'm assuming that the larger boxes are the same as two small ones, but honestly, I don't know. I always just buy the small ones because so many recipes call for just one. And, uh, you know, if I needed two, I just, open up too. So, which is what I'm going to be doing here. So, I just find that easier. But, you know, do whatever you want to do. Oh, vanilla pudding always smells so good when you open it. It's kind of like a light cake mix, and, or well, chocolate cake mix smells good too. Whenever you open those packages, they just smell so good. Now I'm going to add four cups of milk to this. And we're going to mix this up. I got that all over my bowl.
Okay, so now we have our vanilla pudding that we're going to pour on the top. And you can see that we put that on top. And now we're going to use the rest of our Cool Whip. And I'm going to mix it up because I saw a neat trick on, uh, on one of the YouTube channels of doing this. And then they said to mix it up if your um, Cool Whip is still a little frozen. And I thought, well, that's a good idea. If I can get the thing open, it would help. This never fails. I keep thinking that the packaging is getting harder to open, but I think it's just me, honestly. Oh, Y'all have to tell me if you think packaging is getting harder to open, too. Oh, dear. I appreciate their little safety features on this, but it does make it hard for me to open them. Oh dear, I can still didn't get it. Oh, there we go. We'll eventually get it. All right. Now we're going to put all of this one. And the rest of this one. And we're still using our same bowl and we're just going to mix it up just a little bit. I like this mixer here that I bought to replace my old hand mixer, but it's difficult to set down, but it works. Okay, so here's our cake, dessert, pie, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to finish it off with this Cool Whip. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the lid on this thing. <laughs> I probably should have used a different pan. I have a bigger one, but I didn't really want to make that much crust. It's this part that's so good, honestly. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so now we're just going to top it with the rest of our pecans. Make it look pretty. And there it is. We're gonna put it in the fridge and see how long it takes for the papaw to get into it. <laughs> and uh, then we'll take it tomorrow to Bible study and I'm sure everyone will love it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.